Hello everybody, I'm Reptector of Protect Six here. We are playing some Cube Man 2. And we're gonna play some of this game, and because we're gonna play some of this game. Yeah. I play this game a lot. So we're gonna be fight we're gonna be the ninjas. We're gonna be teamed with the Axis and the Clowns versus the Cyborg, the Knights, and the Convicts. Let's do this. There we go. I got an achievement. Recruiter. Thank you. Play this game a lot. Because it's awesome. Alright, let's fight. Immediately off the bat with the rest of our cubes, we're going to start making a, uh, a kind of wall. Try to attend the thing. As much as possible. Expense in the route as much as possible so we can do as much damage as possible. Yeah, so Alright. <coughs> Sorry for that. Excuse me. I've been having a really bad cough as of late, so if I do go cut out Mike for a second because I'm having a cough bit. So yeah. Obviously we're in the lead by points and just like so much teleporting. Sending a mine person there. We're killing that guy. Oh god. We might just need a flint here. Ooh, we're gonna take some hits there. Ah, our base did take some hits. Ooh, yes, our base took some massive hits there. Yes, it did. Um. Immediately, what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try to get some ice people. Larry, as we call him. We call him Larry because he's Larry. Or who doesn't love Larry? I mean, if you don't love Larry, you need to love Let's next level him. Next level him. Just increase our range a little bit. Yeah, kill that guy. Kill him in the face. Upgrade Larry a little bit. And there is a mine at our base. As long as they don't spawn in Ernie, we should be fine. Now we got two grills at max level. Which is great, I like that. That means they're level 3, that means they're going to be able to do some damage. Our flint buddy's not quite bad. They are, some, for some reason, sending a Morty over to us. Coming from the cyborg, because they want to send their Mortys and be killed in the face. Yes, kill them in the face. No, follow him, Morty. Follow him. Let me put that Morty. Immediately right off the bat when we get this, we want to sit. <coughs> when we get enough, it's just immediate give us sit. Because the Sid will help us so much. As long as we can keep him upgraded, we should be fine. The Sid does massive damage. And I mean massive. When I say massive, I am massive. If we can get that Sid upgraded, we get another Sid actually. We want as much SIDs as we possibly can. The more SIDs we can get, the better. When we get about three, then what we're going to do is, you know, upgrade them. Upgrade them to level three, so then we can just start cleaning house. This is not a bad defense. I do say my, so myself. I do like this defense a lot.
And that's what I mean by coughing fit. If I go quiet, that means I'm having a coughing fit. And I don't move anything, I don't do anything. Coughing. Okay, so moving on. I like the fence. There's our instead. The one we've been begging for. Gonna get him here. We're immediately gonna move that gun to there. That grill, I mean. I should probably call them by their actual names. I didn't get a fence. But yeah, moving on. Now we got three SIDs, and we're practically impenetrable in the fence here. Once you get three SIDs, yeah, you, you, you're about to can sell this bastard for 11 cubes. Upgrade this SID. SIDs are OP. We're just putting this in the red bar right now. Bam. Level 3 SID right there. That's how easy it is. That's how much range he is. Does so much damage, holy god. The amount of damage they do. Achieving a lot crowd control. Thank you, I appreciate this achievement. Thank you, my parents, my loved ones, and everyone else. Also found a stash. Oh god. That means he did upgrade another kid to level 3. So, right now his fire goes to 2 per second. His damage goes up, but his range skyrockets, so you can have a really fast shooting SID, or you can have a high damaging SID. Your decision. We did take some hits in and we are the lowest health here, but right now, I think we can... Level three SIDs and about three shots in the kill. And there's our SID. Poor SID. The SID tactic works in the way that they be not bummer. Any person that not managed to bum rush you, you can do so much damage. You can get. Alright, moving this guy over to here, trying to get our Great Wall of Sid going. Great Wall of Sid is a very strong wall. And now the Great Wall of Sid, now we just get to get, all, get them all to level 3 and we practically can just defend until we win. Or, you know, get more Sids! After we start level 3 Sids over here, what we want to start doing is spreading the Sid down to the corners there. Purposely to um, uh, get more range on the enemy and start sniping the off the map. What we're going to do here is we're going to upgrade our SIDs just so we have more of an offense. I'm going to kill some of my buddies, my buddies can't really like, get cubed. So what we do is we kill everything. As you can see, the SID tactic is very overpowered, and I love using it because they're never going to change it. Not in a bajillion years. They're not going to change it. And as you can see, our score goes up greatly compared to me. Just for that simple reason of all SIDs. What I want to do is get these SID on this corner, then upgrade both of these SIDs to level 3, and then we can start adding more to the tank. That's our game plan, and I hope we can do it. SD we sent our third SID. Well, not our third, this is like, hmm. Our eighth SID on the battlefield. As you can see, the range now extends on the bare battlefield. And now we got both of those kids on the corners shooting over on the bare side of the field. 